What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We have these two equations here and we have to solve for x and y. So starting with this first equation, we got 4 to the power of 2x plus 3y over 8 to the power of x plus 2y is equal to 1 over 4. And then we got 64 to the power of x plus 2y over 16 to the power of 3x minus y is equal to 8. And we got to solve for the x and y's. Now, what you want to do here is you want to try to make an equation in terms of the x and y's where you could do substitution and elimination. And the way you can do that is by taking all these expressions here and changing them to have the same base. Notice that all of these we can rewrite as a base of 2. So this 4 over here we can rewrite as 2 to the power of 2 and then we'd have the 2x plus 3y on the outside. This 8 here we can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3 and we'll have this x plus 2y. And then the 1 over 4 we can rewrite as 1 over 2 to the power of 2, which is the same as 2 to the power of negative 2. And I'm actually going to write it like this over here and I'll show you later why. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to get this whole side to be 2 to the power of a big exponent. And then when we have 2 to the power of an exponent, 2 to the power of another exponent, we could drop the basis. Hence why I brought that 4, or 2 to the power of 2, up to the numerator and then change the exponent to a negative. And so from here, what we can do, notice that we have two exponential expressions on the left side that are dividing that have the same base. And so what we can do is we can subtract these exponents, right? Because if you remember, if I got a to the power of x over a to the power of y, that's equal to a to the power of x minus y, right? And this a can be an expression or a number or a variable. Same thing with this x and this y. So in this case, the exponents are expressions. So we can take this and rewrite it as 2 to the power of this exponent. Now these two here, they are multiplying. So we'd have 2 times 2x plus 3y. And then we could subtract this whole exponent. So we'd have minus 3 bracket x plus 2y, like that. And that's equal to 2 to the power of negative 2. If we follow the same process here, the 64, we could change that to 2 to the power of 6. And we'll have that x plus 2y. And then the 16, we could change 2 to the power of 4. And then we'd have the 3x minus y. And then the 8, we can change to 2 to the power of 3. And then following the same process on this left side as we did here, we can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 6 bracket x plus 2y minus 4 bracket 3x minus y. And that's all going to be 2 to the power of 3, like that. And so what we can do at this point is drop these bases because we have 2 to the power of an exponent is equal to 2 to the power of an exponent. So that means the exponents have to be the same. Same thing over here. And so those equations that we'll create will be 2 bracket 2x plus 3y minus 3 bracket x plus 2y is equal to negative 2, right? When we drop the exponents here, when we drop the bases rather, sorry over here and then just have the exponents equaling each other. And then from this one, if we take this, the exponents have to be equal. So we'll have six bracket x plus two y minus four bracket three x minus y. And then that has to equal three. And now from here, we pretty much have two equations and two unknowns. We always had two equations and two unknowns, but now it's in a nicer format where we can use that substitution or elimination to solve. Now before taking one, plugging it into the other, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this whole left side and then try to simplify as much as possible before working with that other expression. So notice 4x minus 3x is x, 6y minus 6y. Actually, those just cancel out, which is nice. So we'll have x is equal to negative 2. That's actually the answer for x. So we actually didn't even have to do substitution or elimination in this question. But over here, we may have to substitute this x. Let's see. So we'll have 6x plus 12y minus 12x 
plus 4y is equal to 3. And so, sorry, this is 12x over here. And so simplifying the like terms, negative 6x plus 16y is equal to 3. And then over here, we'll have to substitute this x value to sub uh, to uh, solve for that y value. So we'll have negative 6 times negative 2 plus 16y is equal to 3. This would be 12 plus 16y is equal to 3. Bring this over. 3 minus 12 is negative 9. Divide both sides by 16. So the y value would be negative 9 over 16. Right, so those are the two solutions for x and y. So we actually kind of got lucky over here where the y's canceled out and we were able to just get the value for x. That's not always going to happen. You may have had an expression here like x plus something y is equal to negative 2. And then you would have to do substitution or elimination with that and this. But we got the x value right away. We were able to take it, plug it in here, and then solve for the y value.